In this video, we'll be performing the easy capacity test on an Eaton 9395 UPS system. The Eaton field engineer must be present to control and operate this test. And the first step is to connect the cable from his laptop to the DB9 port on the UPS, establishing communication and control between the laptop and the UPS system. Now we switch to the display of the field engineer's laptop, where we see that he's used his software tool to begin the setup process for easy capacity test. The first step is to select the UPM that we want to load, the requested kilowatts up to 250 kilowatts for a single 275 kVA UPM, and the test duration in this case will be one minute. Now we have our metering set up with the input metering on the left and the UPS inverter output metering on the right. The automated test begins by transferring the UPS to bypass, and then we will auto start UPM number one, which is the UPM that's under test. If you look at the kilowatt metering on the right, you'll see the output kilowatts begin to rise, 100 kilowatts, 200 kilowatts, eventually stabilizing between 240 and 250 kilowatts of real resistive load. If you look at the kilowatt metering on the left, you see the input of the UPS is drawing only 15 kilowatts from the utility. Now on the right hand side, we're displaying the output voltage and output current during the test. So you can see the UPM is actually under real load. Now we revert back to the kilowatt display. And the easy capacity test is concluded. In this segment, we'll be showing a progression of still infrared photographs, showing the wiring of the UPS during the course of the easy capacity test. We can see the wiring at the top of the input breaker of the UPS, the bus work behind it getting warmer, and on the left-hand side, the wiring of the bypass circuit. The temperature scale on the right is in Fahrenheit, and we see the wiring and bus work increase in temperature, showing that we are in fact loading the UPS with real kilowatt power during the course of the easy capacity test.